breathtaking sunset in the high hills of western Thailand marks the end of another day in the peaceful town of Sanklaburi. Many of its residents have come to this land in hopes of escaping the horrors of Burma's brutal military regime, one that has killed or displaced nine million hill tribe people. Now, the region is home to a rich mix of ethnic minorities from Burma who have crossed the nearby border in search of a new life. Amidst the trees and forest lies a home for young refugees. It is here where children who would otherwise be forced into poverty can find a family and the chance for a better future. Established in 1994, Bandata is a children's home located in Thailand near the Burmese border. Here, the children live, work, and play together under the supervision of female refugees and the home's founder, Richard Zoleta, who is fondly known as Dada. <laughs> Asserting the importance of the children and their future, Dada declines recognition for his work. He is asked to be excluded from this documentary, wanting to avoid any personal glorification, thereby shifting the focus to the children. The Bandata grounds consist of buildings made out of homemade mud bricks and concrete that the children work and live in. The sounds of construction constantly resonate throughout the home. As more children arrive in need of care, the home's expansion is never ending. The younger children share the concrete floors each night, while the older boys have private, starkly furnished rooms. But despite the simple living conditions and the difficulty in obtaining even basic necessities, the children fondly call Bandata their home. <laughs> เขาเขาคิดว่าทางเขาตั้งเขาแต่งตั้งให้แบบว่าเป็นพี่น้องกันเป็นครอบครัวเดียวกันเพราะแต่ถ้าให้ดูแลกันช่วยเหลือช่ว
I started reading books about um, sort of the culture in Thailand and they happen to be about poverty. And so that got me interested in volunteering. And then, um, yeah, I just ended up here and started doing the stuff around the home. It's more um, about the people here and it's, it's got sort of a, a spirit or a life of its own, you know? So that's what kind of draws me to this place in particular. My name is Bronwyn, but everybody knows me as B. And I'm from Canada, um, I'm 19 and I was supposed to stay for a month and then volunteer for a month and go travel around Southeast Asia, but I never left. And then when the time came for my plane to go, I didn't get on my plane. And then I just kept staying and staying and staying. But yeah, I got here and it was just, it blew me away right away. I just felt like I was home, you know? Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> it was um, surprising to me how outgoing the kids here were and how welcoming they are and to me like as soon as you walk in the door there they come up to you and they you know they take your hand or they you know hold their arms up for you to pick them up or something they're just very welcoming and I didn't I didn't find that any of the, any of the other orphanages and um, it's almost uh, it's almost sad to go there to those other places because of that, I mean, you, you really feel it's like it's an orphanage, but this place is it's more like a family home than an orphanage. The children at Bandata have their own unique stories of their lives in Burma. Some children have witnessed their parents' death with their very eyes, while others do not have their family's financial support. However, each child's life has been dramatically altered due to the conflict in Burma. The Karen and Mon Hill tribes have been brutally persecuted under the current Burmese government for over 40 years. Hope has been dwindling for the future of thousands of young Karen and Mon children who remain in hiding in the jungle or across the border among Thailand's rural communities. Karen, Karen, half year. Karen, oh, yeah. Karen. Have some Mon here, Mon. Here, Mon. Mon, you know Mon? Mm -hmm. Mon, Karen. I, I can't read. Karen? Yeah. Did you ever live in a house like that? Yeah, before I live. Uh, yeah, before. What, in Thailand? Or in... in near, near Thailand. Thailand map. Thailand map. The forest. forest. The forest? Yeah. Was it in Thailand or was it in Burma? Thailand, Thailand. Oh. Thailand. Mm. Many of the parents have either been killed by Burmese soldiers or are disabled um, and just can't afford to take care of the kids and can't find work because they're not Thai citizens. And so Dada, through one way or another, has found um, these two villages, mainly two villages where all the kids come from, and he's kind of taken a lot of them in from there. They, they're alive and they're happy and they're, they're so great, you know? And of course, they're just like any other kid. They're going to miss their family. and. They're in a tough situation, but they're smiling through it all. I mean, sometimes you see them really sad and when they're leaving. They have to leave their parent or their sister or their, you know, brother or father, and they get, come back here, but at least they have here to come back to, you know? At least they have a big family here, too. <laughs> สวัสดีครับผมชื่อ
ผมชื่อปรีชาครับนายปรีชาผมนายธงชัยครับผมชื่อเอกลักษณ์ครับแล้วก็อายุ15ปีอายุ23ปีตอนนี้ผมอายุประมาณ17ปีอายุ17ปีครับตอนเด็กบางคนไม่ได้เรียนแล้วบางคนก็ไม่มีพ่อเงี้ยแม่เลี้ยงคนเดียวก็ไม่ไหวบางคนก็แม่มีพ่อก็เลี้ยงไม่ไหวเงี้ยส่งมาที่นี่แล้วให้เด็กได้รับการศึกษาแล้วช่วยเหลือเด็กได้มากขึ้นในด้านความคิดสำหรับอุ้งอ่านว่าโอ้ยอย่างเช่นตัวเนี้ยพยัญชนะก็บอยไม้นะคุณเรื่องไหนเรื่องค่ะเรื่องค่ะเรื่องค่ะเพราะต้องการความรู้นะเพราะเขาก้าวไม่ถูกเลยเขาก้าวเขาก้าวไม่ถูกแบบจะไปทางไหนดีก็เลยมาอยู่ที่นี่ก็เลยหาความรู้แล้วก็ใช้ใช้ในชีวิตประจำวันในอนาคตผมว่าดูตัวผมนี่นะคือปกตินี่ผมนี่ชอบเมื่อเขาด่าผมเนี่ยผมชอบโต้ตอบเนี่ยแต่พอมาอยู่นี่ก็ถ้าเขาด่ามันเนี่ยเออเรารู้ยังไงว่าเราโตแล้วเออขับพูดสิ่งที่ดีมาเนี่ยเราควรรับฟังเราเอาไปใช้ไม่ใช่ว่าปล่อยไปอย่างนี้ไม่ใช่ไม่ได้